Welcome dear player to Marauders. The goal of this introduction video is to help you with your first steps in the game. We will cover the basics of gearing up and how to play the game. This is an updated version of the old how to play guide, getting you guys ready for the early access version of the game. Keep in mind that Marauders is still in development and a lot of features might get reworked and improved. Let's begin. First, let's get you geared. In the gear tab you equip your Marauder with all the necessities for a successful raid. At the beginning the game will provide you with some basic free items and credits. If you can, equip a backpack to extract valuable items. They come in different sizes. The bigger, the better. You have two slots to protect you against AI and hostile Marauders. The helmet and the vest slot. You can see the armor class in the top left corner and the durability in the bottom right corner. Some vests have special bonuses. For example, this leather jerkin vest gives you some additional inventory slots. Regarding weapons, you have two main weapon slots and a pistol slot. And if times are desperate, there is even a melee slot. Don't forget to bring enough ammunition with you. Which ammunition you need for each gun can be seen in the top left of the gun description. Additionally, you can bring some medical supplies. Now you're ready to go on a mission. Be careful though, should you die, all your gear is lost. However, you don't have to go alone on set missions. Marauders lets you create pirate crews. A pirate crew consists of up to four players. You can have your lobby password protected or open for everybody. Be careful who is the captain because your crew will use the ship that the current captain has equipped as the active ship in the hangar. Once you're loaded into a raid, you can take control of your ship by interacting with the pilot periscope at the front of the deck. You fly the ship by holding W, you can raise the ship with spacebar and lower the ship with your left control hotkey. As the gunner, you can zoom in with right click and with left click, you shoot. Use your ship to enter a raid area. Look out for these lit yellow areas. They signal a dock area for you to enter. Get the ship close enough to smoothly fly into the docking bay. Once you're docked, you can use your frigate hangar doors to enter the location. An airlock connects your ship to the raid area. Remember your airlock, since it is the only airlock you can use to leave the raid with your own ship. In the case of an emergency, you can use the escape pods to quickly evacuate. Keep in mind that extracting this way will make you leave behind and lose your active ship. These escape pods can't enter certain areas, such as raids. The normally yellow areas will turn red. However, there is another use case for these escape pods. Use them to breach enemy ships. Navigate to an enemy ship and interact with F. This will start the breaching sequence. If you are satisfied with your raid or run low in supplies and you want to leave the map, you have to search for these escape gates. You can do this with your active ship or with an escape pod in the case of an emergency. Everything you looted is now yours. If you manage to leave with a ship that you successfully breached and captured, then it is yours now and available in your ship hangar. Now that you know how to navigate through a raid, let's talk a bit more about the how to play part. Besides looting gear, you can also do some shopping. By a simple drag and drop action, you buy and sell items. To quickly buy something, shift click the desired item. The vendors rotate and restock after 15 minutes. There are multiple vendors and they all belong to a faction. You can improve your reputation with these factions by fulfilling contracts for them. The better the reputation, the better the discount they will offer you and the more items to buy you will unlock. Let's take a look at the mention faction system. In the contracts tab you can select up to three missions. Depending on the mission you will receive XP, faction points, credits, weapons and other items as rewards. The higher your reputation, the better the contracts and rewards will be. Once you're done with a contract, you can hear a little sound effect. You can track your contract progression by hitting tab to open your inventory. In the bottom left corner are the daily contracts. Once a contract is finished, you can turn it in. You do that in the contracts tab. Don't forget to pick a new contract afterwards. Something that got added recently are the zero to hero quests. These quests are crucial for your progression since a few recipes for crafting can only be unlocked by finishing these quests, such as the blowtorch, grenades and other items. And on top of that you can unlock some fine cosmetics as well. Tracking and turning these quests in works exactly the same way as the contract system. If you play in a crew, your teammates don't have to stand around idle while you fly the ship. Depending on the ship, you have multiple periscopes. One of them is the turret periscope. Controlling this one gives your crew member the ability to operate the guns of the ship. 
Should you fly alone, the pilot can control both periscopes. Teammates can also scout the area with viewports. They get an intel that can be crucial for the team. During your missions, you will come across multiple storage containers, weapon cabinets, toolboxes, PCs and many more. Before you can loot, you must identify the objects first. Once that is done, you can drag and drop your loot into an empty slot. It works the same way for looting dead NPCs and players. The looting improved since the latest playtests. You can now quickly loot items by shift-clicking on them. The loot will be directly placed in your open inventory slots. But that's not all. There's also a new hotkey for dropping items. Hover over the item you deem unworthy and alt-click on it. The discarded item will be on the ground. To aim with your weapon, you press and hold your aim button. And you use your fire button to shoot. Keep an eye out on your ammo count. Should the mag be empty or low on bullets, reload. Always keep in mind that you need to bring the right ammunition. Hone your combat abilities and peek around corners. This will give you the advantage you need to win firefights. You can lean left and right. Space combat is dangerous in Marauders. Should your frigate sustain a lot of damage, you need to do some fire control. Check the wall cases around your ship and take the fire extinguisher. Repair the damage and get your ship operational again. Upgrade your guns by buying, looting or crafting attachments. Install set attachments in the workbench tab. You can see in the weapon description how the additional parts influence the performance of the gun. By collecting XP your character will level up. By doing so you gain skill points. These skill points can be invested to learn new recipes in a crafting tab. You can craft weapons, weapon attachments, ammo, armor, mats, ships, ship attachments, lockpicks, bags and containers. I unlock here for example the sack bag. Keep in mind that these recipes require a certain level, skill points and credits. It's important to know that you can salvage items by scrapping them. By selecting them you see already a preview of potential scrap items. You can scrap multiple items and then put them into your inventory with shift click. Once you get out all the needed materials, you can craft the item. Once the craft queue is done, you can collect your brand new item. Some locations are locked, you can only enter these special rooms by using lockpicks. You can craft these in your crafting tab. We are almost at the end of our little guide, let's talk quickly about the endgame. Once you hit level 40, you get the option to prestige. Be careful, this will reset your level and progress back to level 1. However, every time you prestige, you get a prestige token, which then can be used to unlock permanent special upgrades. We gave you now a short introduction and quick how to play tutorial. Let us show you now the different types of frigates. You have the rust bucket, the ship will always be available for you. Similar but in better shape is a scout frigate. If you want speed, then the interceptor is your choice. It comes with less armor and slots, but it's fast. If you're not in a hurry, the heavy frigate might be to your liking. As the name implies, it is heavily armored. If you want a ship which balances armor and speed, then the Vulture class might be your ship of choice. If you want to brag, you can pick the Capital Frigate. This is the biggest ship in the game right now and comes with two turret sections. Now get out the Marauder, you can explore and raid an active Iridium mine that has been recently attacked, or delve into the spaceport. It used to be a thriving place until it was attacked because of its highly valuable bank vaults. If that is not enough to wake your interest, you can keep an eye out for a damaged capital ship, protected by heavily armed soldiers, left to guard the ship from bandits and marauders until it But that's not all. Since the game progressed now quite a bit, there is way more to explore. The terraformer map, the merchant ship, and a bit more. But I don't want to spoil too much. You probably want to explore it for yourself. And now, Enjoy your adventures.